imagine walking through the park one day not seeing not one bird or not hearing any of their cheerful chirps. So I think of it like if you were hungry and you needed help, honestly needed help, you would want someone to help you. So that's how I feel we should treat the birds. Um, so there are friendly, there are friendly fellows in the sky, and I think we should forget about them. And I had to teach this to a group of a group of 36 to 10 year olds, so I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to learn this very quickly as well. So first is why am I even teaching you this? So I work for I work for the city of Fremont, and I work at a park. Um, so and I also work with park rangers. So the park ranger's job is to make sure to take care of all the um, animals that are there. There's some and some types of birds and other animals that are only native to that park. That park's in Fremont. If you guys ever happen to be there. And um, so I see these birds every day. And like I said, my job is to work with the rangers that take care of them. So I kind of grew to have a care for um, nature as well, especially the, seeing all the birds that I see. So a ranger that I work with is Matt, and he literally will chase you down if he sees you or hears of you mistreating the animals. So, and also during the week um, of winter break, I, I had to teach a nature camp to a group of kids, and this is one activity we learned. So first off, it's a lot easier than you think. Um, what we use is literally a pine cone. This is called vegetable shortening, or it's also called lard. You use it if you like to fry things. Um, and then I also have you need to use wild bird seed. Um, it's just the, it's the most it's the most what's called pretty much any bird that you see around here will be able to eat this. So it's be always best to use wild bird seed like I have. So um, the reason why we use lard is because lard is a way of the animals that the birds are able to grow calories to eat calories and growing calories eating calories for them gives them energy obviously if birds don't have the energy to fly they're not going to get very far they need to migrate a lot of birds that i see where i work at are only here during the springtime they're going to leave so they need to make sure to feed them a lot right now especially in the winter time there's not a lot of birds i mean a lot of insects out where the birds can eat so they need to find alternative ways to um, feed themselves so an activity we did was we go we first take the kids to go find pine cones which you can find pretty much at any park. Uh, we had a little spreading knives by Mavity. So pretty much what you do is you just have to spread the lard all over the pine cone. It could get messy, especially when you're doing this with little, little six-year-olds. Um, so all you do is spread it around. It kind of feels like butter, so it's not, it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to get in through there, but always make sure you get all the way in. So once you completely cover up the pine cone, um, we, what we do is we have a tray and you just go around. Once it's, I'm not gonna go all the way around. Once you go all the way around, you just dip it in and you go all, you just make this, make sure the bird seeds get stuck in it. One thing I forgot is the string, but so in my work we have a classroom, a nature classroom. We have um, we have trees that are right right at the outside of our, our uh, of our class. There's windows. So literally every time where all the kids are in there, we are every single five minutes we see birds actually that are eating from our uh, bird seed feeders. After two days, this thing was completely gone. You could just see kind of like the largest chilling there. So it sounds like really people always think of bird seed feeders as wooden things, you don't really have to do that, but we also made another one with um, the plastic containers that hold tennis balls. We have a tennis center right next to our park, so we just go over there and say, hey, give me all those things, and we give them to the kids, and they also make bird seed feeders out of that. And another thing you need to remember is once you have a string, you just tie it around and you can hang it onto a tree. Always make sure you, hide, you, you hang your bird seed feeder high enough away from dogs and cats. Especially a cat, when you see a bird just showing there, they're going to want to jump and attack your bird, and that's not what we want to do. So make sure you always remember, keep, keep it high enough so other birds won't, other animals won't touch your birds. So after seeing how easy this was, and how, this is only a few bucks that I had to go buy this stuff. Um, be earth, be earth friendly, don't just use be green, but also think of nature. Um, I think it's very important. 
um, the, the population of birds have actually been dying out. Um, if you notice, you walk through a park, you never really hear birds as much as you would before. I remember me as a, cat, as a kid, I would always listen to birds Saturday mornings and it would annoy me. But if you really notice, there hasn't been that much animals lately. So I think this is a really easy way to help them out in the winter. Like I said, if you are hungry, you need help, so we should help out our fellow birds as well.